Today I wanna to talk about something very important. I'm gonna talk about something that is really kind of still taboo to talk about with women, and that's just not right because so many women suffer from this, and that is hair loss. So I lost some hair here because of my ponytail. Grab this little device, put a little serum. I'll do it right here. This is gonna create more hair growth. This was it, just literally two days ago. It's already so much better. Hey, beautiful people. This topic is a little bit, I would say, a little bit more heavy in some ways. You guys know we always try to keep it really real with as far as some of the issues that we go through. Obviously, people deal with hair loss and hair fall and balding all the time. And a lot of times it's things that are beyond their control. There's literally so many reasons why your hair can fall out. Everybody has their own different situation as well. I mean, it could be definitely hormonal. Hormones are a big part of this. Stress is a big part of this. Sometimes diet changes, alopecia, you know, certain things going on in your body, which we all know can be a, a huge part of that as well. There's literally millions of reasons why your hair can start to fall. And it's always great to try to find out the reason why, but there are definitely a lot of things that you can do to help lessen the hair fall. I also have PCOS. I've shared this with you guys before on Snapchat. I have like all these hormonal issues with PCOS and also endometriosis. And I have male pattern balding in the front. I just have had it. I've had it for probably since I was like my early twenties. And you know, I constantly always try to cover it up, but it's something that as women, we don't talk about. We don't share these stories. We're embarrassed to talk about it. Honestly, my hair can't take a lot. I would love to like have like different colored hair. It just breaks off when I color it. And I also can't style it that much. And you know, when I started shooting Huda Boss, honestly, I had to style my hair all the time. And I started wearing a ponytail. It hurt, my ponytails hurt. I mean, you guys probably saw how much pain I was in when we did the Mercury Retrograde shoot. I wanna finish this shot. I wanna take this hair down. It was really, really painful. I wasn't joking, it was really painful. It was kind of after that that I started noticing my hair just falling out. You know when you do this, like one hair falls out, it was like seven hairs. It wasn't like hair fall, it was weird. It was very weird. A few days later, my hairstylist Dom was doing my hair. He didn't tell me anything, but I could tell he was like a little anxious about something. And afterwards, you know, my assistant Mav came in. He was like, just so you know, Dom didn't want to tell you because you were in a meeting. He didn't want to embarrass you, but you have a bald spot. I looked at the mirror and I saw it and I was just like, oh my God, and it was so smooth. And it felt like very soft skin. How big was about this big? Like this big? I'm worried about how far this is gonna go. Like I wasn't worried about that one area, I was worried about this entire area kind of falling out. And that's when I was like, I need to take very quick action. I went into overdrive, I need to roll up my sleeves. I am a beauty expert. I need to do the things that I know are going to stop this immediately and create hair growth. And I was shocked at how fast the hair started growing back. It was literally insane, within a week. Within a week, the spot was gone. It was like a cactus. I was so happy. <laughs> With my male pattern balding that I had in this particular area, I've had it for years, literally. It's been about 10 years. I've done two things that I found were the most effective. One, okay, wait, I've done three things. The first thing, which is not really super effective, but it just covers up the problem, is just I use eyeshadow all the time. I actually got really good at it. I would take like a very dense brush and then I would put eyeshadow on it. And then I would like put like a little bit of like a thing here. And then I would just fill around it and then I would pick up the brush and then it would, would it look like a perfectly neat line. One thing that I would try to do when I was filling my hair too, I would sometimes mix it with a little bit of like a keratin or a hair growth serum and then it would like really stick. I'm not joking, I got really good at this. And that would kind of help my hair follicles grow as well because you don't want to really put too much product on your scalp. You really want to let it breathe. You don't want to inhibit more hair growing. That's why I was mixing it with a little bit of like a serum or capsules for hair growth. That was the immediate thing that I did. I started filling it in, trying to do those type of things. And it, honestly, it doesn't look amazing. You can't do it for a large area, but for small areas where it looks kind of like irregular, that's what I would do to try to make it look more feminine because I'm really into that stuff. The second thing is creating a healthy head. And I know that sounds really weird, but you want healthy scalp. You want healthy amount of circulation. You want healthy hair. And so that is the best way with topical vitamins as well as ingestible vitamins. I'm not gonna lie, I did both because to some extent, it's not gonna cure everything for me. Like this is not gonna change. However, it can definitely improve hair growth a lot. And so there are some hair vitamins that I love and I've had different experiences. Some have been really, really good. Some have not been really good. Some like literally are so effective that my eyelashes literally get thicker as I'm taking them. It's insane. Like my eyelashes right now, I kind of have little itty bitty lashes for the first time in forever. Full disclosure, they will make you grow hair everywhere else too. So if you've lasered, you can have to laser again. Just letting you know. I bought the at-home laser. That helped me out a lot. <laughs> There's a ton of vitamins out there for the hair. This has been my favorite go-to for a long time. I don't have the box here, but these are called Viviscal. I personally love these, and I've literally noticed such a difference. I don't know if this is the cause for my baby hairs by itself. It could be in conjunction with all the hair serums, but it's amazing. There's also some topical serums as well. They're almost like, they're not serums. They're not really oils. They're almost like a water. And what you do is you just basically apply those, and those have different type of ingredients inside those that also help create more hair growth. I will tell you, the topical ones, as soon as you stop, the hair falls out. Like it doesn't continue. The vitamins are a little bit better. Like you do, I mean, obviously, 
obviously like these will not continue to help your hair grow if you stop taking them. But with the topical ones, I notice a more immediate effect when I'm using it when I don't. But that does work really effectively too, especially when you combine the two together. And also you wanna make sure that you actually give these things a chance. So you wanna be really consistent and you wanna make sure you're also trying them for at least 30 days. Now I will give you one tip. I don't like to try too many things at once. I like to try one thing, see how it kind of works and then add the other thing. You just wanna know if anything's off, you wanna know what the root of that problem is. There's also a lot of different treatments that you can do for a healthy scalp as well. And this is totally optional. This isn't necessarily part of the ingestibles. It's more part of the topicals. It's really interesting because it boosts circulation and all those type of things as well as collagen production. And that is just red light therapy. You guys know how much I love red light therapy. I should have a device by now, but honestly, really good red light is challenging. So, you know, I have a lot of different tools that I like. I mean, we have some pretty crazy ones. This one is really interesting. I've actually bought this twice. This is called Hair Max. I bought it from the UK in Harrods. It has like these red, like kind of laser beams that stick out. You just kind of do it in sections right here. Yeah, it's pretty easy to use. You just look weird when you're using it because people are like, what are you doing? But I always do it in meetings and people just know me by now. I'm like, what? Yeah, what are you saying? Uh huh. No, no, let's not do that. A little bit more inexpensive, but a bit more challenging to use is this Glow Pro. It's a derma roller with a red light. I've also bought this a couple of different times. What I love about it is they have different heads so you can get different sizes. That's pretty cool. They have a small one. This is the medium one that I think it came with and then had a big one. It's a little bit less expensive than the Hair Max, but it's a little bit more painful to use because it's a derma roller as well. But this, I feel in conjunction with like the topicals really helped that spot. I mean, it's crazy how fast my hair grew back, but you kind of have to like push down and put little pricks into your skin. So you turn it on and it starts to vibrate, which I also like. I wasn't really expecting this to be that effective, but it was crazy. And I just put it, you can see a little bit of the bald spot, but the hair really started growing back. This is it now. This was it just literally two days ago. It's already so much better. I go over here. You can see the already the hair has grown back so much which has been like amazing. And I didn't roll in this area. Like normally you roll with a derma roller. I just, I'm like literally just putting little pricks in there and it's a little bit painful. I kind of like it. I don't know why. I swear in my life. <laughs> I like needles. I can't do it anymore. Just so you guys know, none of this video is sponsored. These are the products that I bought. Was not even gifted. I don't think I was gifted any of these. Nope, wasn't. I literally bought all of these products. Oh no, sorry. They did send me their vitamins. <laughs> but I have bought tons of, I'm actually subscribed to them on Amazon. So they don't know that. So I actually, have more than I need. And then I use this amazing product called Invanti. And actually our VP of product development created this because she's like just so intelligent. Like she's very technical. She's very scientific. It's crazy. You know, she was just telling me about like some of the ingredients in there. It wasn't like minoxidil and all those things that are inside of Rogaine. It was something that was actually going to help with hair growth, which was really, really important. I wanted real healthy scalp hair growth, not any artificial hair growth. Grab this little device, put a little serum. I'll do it right here. And then I just started like pressing it in. And this is good. This is going to create more hair growth. Oh, it's so good. I kind of like the pain. The third thing is stop blow drying your hair. Like literally, like when you do that small amount of tugging, when you're going through hair fall, you are not helping the strength of your hair follicles. What I noticed was when I stopped blow drying it and I went to just using a flat iron or going curly and my hair stopped falling. I took all the vitamins I need to take and it helped me so much to retain my hair growth. And my hair actually became super thick and it stopped all my hair fall. So I do think that tugging is not a good idea. That just that small amount of tugging, I think when your hair is normal is fine, but when you're experiencing hair loss, it's not gonna help reduce that hair loss. It's probably gonna help accelerate that. You really wanna keep it very healthy. Add those really good topical types of treatments. Make sure that you're restoring your scalp. Restore the circulation in your in your head. <laughs> Try to build on those ingredients that are really gonna create good hair growth and avoid the things that are not gonna help you. This is my personal experience with hair loss. It's been an up and down journey, but these are the things that have really helped me, especially recently dealing with this small little patch. It's really important that we take away the shame associated with female hair loss and hair balding. It's just another beauty issue that we all can get through as soon as as we start to feel more comfortable talking about it. We literally have so much information on the blog on hair loss because again, we've been blogging for 10 years. I've had these issues for 10 years. There's a lot of information there, <laughs> but we'll put some of our favorite links there. Feel free to go to hoodiebee.com, pop in hair loss and have a field day with all the information. So please make sure you guys do share all these tips, you know, with your friends and your families and your loved ones. I want you guys to, to be inside my world and to see some of the things that we're dealing with on Instagram. We paint this perfect picture with how things are. I want you guys to know the reality that goes into it and nothing is, as what it seems. Just just facts. It's just dress up on Instagram and a little face tune. <laughs> I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.